I think she could be happy with somebody who's very loving and who has the same energy as I do. And Missy Moo, I think you're right, like someone like you who's very loving to their pets. That's very nice and humane to do. Hi, Down Under. All you're thinking is a witch hunt, like, oh, she's abandoning her pet. Whatever, I don't care. Be offended. You have the right. I feel so bad leaving my cats, actually. God, stop. <laughs> I feel like she's going to live to be 50, I swear. B, She's on my bed. What are you doing, B? <coughs> B, They're dust but a lint piece of lint. Basically, I was like, she's my baby girl. I'm, it's not horrible. Honestly, I'm doing it for her happiness. People's circumstances change, man. You know? I gave her a good life for 20 years. Like, I think she would be sad for, like, maybe tops a couple days. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I love BBJ. I never thought that. I am kidding. I treat her like a queen. She's very clingy now, so she needs somebody. That's what I'm saying, like, and I don't know how long she... She's starting to, like, go deaf. Take her to the vet before I go, just for an exam to make sure. I know, Ren, I don't like leaving her. I don't. I do feel bad, but I do have to go there. I can't, I mean, she could live for many years more. Who knows? <coughs> uh, put my life on hold because BBJ? <laughs> like, sweetie, why are you so sweetie? You know, maybe she's going to the vet and not coming home. <laughs> no, listen, Um, my cat is 20, okay? If the vet tells me that it might be better um, for her since her quality of life is not good, it's more humane to euthanize her, I absolutely believe in that. Sorry, she's really freaking cute. I'm not taking her to the vet just for that. I'm also going to be bringing uh, Sam. So, so yeah. Um, Sam. And she, like, normally when she, like, she must be losing her hearing. I have to go up to her on the chair and go, hello. And she goes, like, all, like, she was all confused. She's, the like, she's obviously, like, she's freaking in, like, adult years, probably, like, 90. Do you know any 90-year-olds 90 who are in... Uh, the epitome of good health, because I sure as heck don't. I don't know any who are good health at 90. Heck, I don't even know anybody who's 90. <coughs> Whoops. Maybe. <coughs> he can watch BBJ. It's not that she's a burden. You're not understanding. I'm not trying to get rid of her. Stay the fuck away! Coming back in after I've banned you is gonna make me like you more? No! Stay the fuck away! Well, rat face, like, my arrangement is gonna slowly change over time, okay? It's not something where I'm just gonna like not push him out on the street.
right away. So BBJ is um, a feline miracle. <laughs> no. I think it, I mean, I don't know. It might be in her best interest. She is old and frail, and I'm not going to be there. I don't know. Maybe I'll cook something healthy tomorrow. Okay, Missy Moo. Um, like, how can you get in touch with me? Or, yeah, email me or number two. A day's drive? That's so long. You're willing to drive that? That's so nice of you. <laughs> I feel so bad for BBJ, but... But if, if I take her to the vet and the vet says, she's 20. Like, what are you doing, B? <laughs>